Yo, hello guys, what's up? Enrique from DSM Tool here, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, this is a weekly webinar where we showcase 10 different products that we found on eBay that are demanded and also profitable. Now, keep in mind that this listing that I have right here with me are, are products which are making profits to different drop shippers, specifically on eBay. Now you see here a total net profit of over $2,000, right? Out of the 10 listing items. But keep in mind that this is not the total net profit. This is only a potential profit. I'll explain why. First of all, it depends on the price that you set up to be, right? How many sales you make and other variables in terms of listings. I'll dive into that subject in just a second. Before we dive into the subject, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell button to be notified every single time that we go either live or we split up new content. So again, I appreciate it. And if you have any comments, again, any questions, please leave them down below. Now, with that said, let me also show you guys, this is going to be in the description down below, that we do have a blog page where we put down or put up, rather put up good articles here. This is the latest art article that I wrote on Terrapeak, which is a very good product research method. So you can go ahead and read that for yourself. Uh, and also we have videos on it and there's a lot of tons and cool content and from informative content that is going to help you tons when it comes to drop shipping or either e-commerce as a whole. So again, if you want to read more about it, click on the description down below. Now, back on the topic of the video, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of products that I found. You can actually have access to this Google sheet and I'll explain how you can get it to, but I will also show you in this short video how to analyze the market and how to find winning products quickly. I'll be using a product research uh, tool called Zig Analytics. It's going to be in the description down below as well so you guys can go ahead and click it and actually get your account up and ready. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how you can get access to this calculator. And the first thing is you just go to DSM tool dot com slash calculator this is going to be in the description down below you'll get to this landing page right here and before i get to the main actually the main button which is this one get a copy uh you can also see here that we have for starters we have uh, a training program uh for you know beginners so you can click here you can start for free uh and as you guys can read here 68 percent of the people that we actually interviewed we surveyed they made their first sale within the first week so again you can start yourself you can gain all this knowledge and you can start making sales on eBay so don't waste more time you can start now for free also we have frequently asked questions with their answers but now let me just not waste a lot of time I know that you're here just because one purpose that one purpose only which is letting get first giving you the products and second how you how I got it right you want to know that so let's go up and Click on where it says getting copy. So once you do that, you'll get this Google sheet right here, which is the same one that I have here with me. So over here, you can see that we already have things, every single formula set up for you. So all you need to do is fill the blanks right here and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So we have here the formulas, right? Based on the break even. Now the break even is based on 12.55%. This is going to be uh, the eBay managed payments. This is new. To, this is a this is a, applicable to every new seller on eBay. They need to pay a 12.55% per month if you're selling on eBay. But also for those of you who are dropshipping in the US, there's I'm going to put down on my screen right now. You have to include sales tax, right? Depending on the state that you're dropshipping, you have to cover that up as well. So normally, the best, let's say the best break even percentage could be between 12, between 14 to 15% as break even, right? I, uh, if you have further questions on how to set up your break even, you can leave it on the comment section down below and I'll be uh, addressing that as well. Anyway, so if you want to get to the products, remember I am sourcing the products from AliExpress. So as you can see, there's a small tab here called AliExpress. Just click on it and you'll be able to see all the products that I found. Keep in mind that I weekly go ahead and update these items and find new ones. Uh, actually, I'm going to be updating this shortly. And uh, that way you can go ahead and just click on the link on eBay, click on the link on, on AliExpress. And from that point on, you can source that item 
and list it on your store. Anyway, now let me show you the first product that we have here. It's a bamboo storage box that I found on eBay. Let me see. Now, as you guys can see here, there's a couple of things that I want you to always analyze before actually deciding to source the product on anywhere you want to source it to. But in this case, we're going to be focused on, on AliExpress. First off is the amount of sales that this, this product has been has generated so far, right? That's the first thing. The second thing would be if you are, say, sourcing like I am from uh, China and let's say AliExpress, you want to figure out if the, the seller is doing the same thing. Because in this case, when you're sourcing products from China, you already know that the shipping you're going to be providing is not going to be as competitive as someone who is actually making sales and providing a shipping within the U.S., right, from U.S. warehouses. So when it comes to shipping from a shipping standpoint, you're not going to be as competitive, right? That is why you need to shift it and be competitive in terms of pricing. So, for example, if you see that this item is being sold for $20.89, you can be cheaper and attract a little bit of more potential buyers. But that's something I want to go ahead and address a little bit along the line. So number one is amount of sales and number two is items location, right? So items location is very important. Again, if you're sourcing from China, as you guys can see, the items location from this item here is based in Shenzhen. I believe I said it correctly, China. So that's one. And second of all, you can see here that this item has generated 35 sales, right? By this seller right here. Okay, now the second, the third step that you need to always check is click on this small link right here, which is 35 sales, and it's gonna take you to this transaction table here, right? Now, normally you'll see here that, that you can see here, for example, the variation that was sold, the price that it was sold for, the quantity bought, and the date of purchase. The, the reason I address this is because you want to figure out if the product has been making sales so far recently, right? You need a product that's at least making sales, let's say three to four sales in the past 30 days. That is important because you want, you want your listings to rotate quickly. You want to make sales as soon as possible. And if you find a hot potato product, meaning that as long as you have it, you make sales quickly, even better for you as a drop shipper. Okay. So that is a very important. Now, as you guys can see here, this is sold by a special offer or sold as a special offer. Don't, you know, don't put mine to that, to be honest. That is some, that is, let's say an arrangement between the seller or the drop shipper with the client. So they sell it at a different price rate. That's, you can't see that here. So that's very like, let's say personal. So don't worry about it. But as long as you can see here that this by the 15th of August, right? Not too long ago. Um, somebody purchased the color CO or the variation CO of this item five times, right? And again, not even that, 15, the same date, 30 times. So there's a lot of people who are actually interested in this product. So if you decide to source this item, then you can source it to, let's say, AliExpress. So I found the same product right here on AliExpress. As you guys can see, the same exact product. So why am I sourcing from China? That's, that's one question I always get, right? And the reason behind that is you can find the same exact products that are being highly sold on eBay, and you can find the same product on China. Moreover, there's a lot of items that you think that they're, they're based in the US, but they're not. They're actually purchased from, uh, from Chinese retailers, right? So it depends a lot on that. So for me, as long as I find a product that is being highly demanded on eBay, on AliExpress for a super low price, but that's the main key. AliExpress offers the same product at a super low rate, I'm um, sorry, super low price. So for me as a seller, or at least as a drop shipper, for the, uh, or moreover, as a beginner, who I can't like, I need money right now. It is better for me to find the same product at a super low price so I can then resell it on eBay at a standard or let's say considerable price for buyers to purchase. And meanwhile, I can get a lot of profit along the way. Let me explain. So first of all, on this segment, a segment, you need to do a couple of things. You found the same product, you decided to source this item, find it here. And now it is time for you to analyze a couple of things. So as a drop shipper, you will, you, you, you don't hold inventory. So that's the first thing, right? You, you don't hold inventory. 
and you can't have access, physical access to the product. So you can't actually see, or you can't actually measure the quality assurance. So what you do is, okay, if you're going to be using a supplier or a seller as a supplier for your clients, in this case, a seller that I found, this seller right here that I found on AliExpress, you need to guarantee that this seller is actual, is actually, uh, uh, how do you call it? Reliable. Yeah. So you have to actually determine the reliability of this supplier along with the quality assurance of the product. So how you do that is number one, always check on this segment on this uh, part of the, uh, of the uh, page. So you want to figure out, you want to find a supplier that sells the same product and has at least more than 10 orders made. Why? The more orders the product has on the products page on AliExpress, the easier for you to review, again, the, the critiques from people who have actually ordered or purchased from this seller. That's going to give you a better idea and see, okay, is this seller is good? Is, is this seller, are people satisfied? Very nice box. You know, you kind of like go ahead and scroll down, read the comments. That's part of a being a dropshipper. You have to actually figure out if it's actually a good seller and if the product is good enough. And also you want to find items that have at least more than 4.5 or more than 4.5, if possible, uh, star rating that is actually correlated to the product's quality. And as you can see here, at least 73% of the buyers, current buyers gave this product five stars. So it's a very good product, very decent product. I might say so. Okay. So that's the first step, right? Determining the reviews, reading the reviews, see how many orders this person has for reliability, and also the product star rating. Then head over to this segment of the page on the upper side, and you can see here this person has 94.7% positive feedback. This is given by users who actually encountered this seller on AliExpress, and they are actually measured on three metrics. The first one will be item as described. This would mean uh, that the seller is providing the same product as shown on the page. Communication means how well is the communication between the seller here on AliExpress and the buyers on AliExpress. And shipping speed would mean out of the shipping option that this person is giving, is it fast enough? Is it good? Is it effective? And you get the point. So over here, this, you, the communication is great, is above average. Now, when it comes to below or above average, this is something, let's say, arbitrary because you can see here some, you'll, you'll be able to see here a, a couple of people, sorry, a couple of users, a couple of sellers that have the same rate, the 4.7 rate, and they have above average. So this is a little bit, so you can't actually see the full picture here, but my advice is as long as they have 4.5 on each and every single one of the metrics, you're fine. Okay, so that's, that's going to give you a little bit of more reliability when it comes to this seller. So the last part you want to check up on is if this person is providing some sort of business policies, right? So you want to guarantee your buyer or your client that you will give that person, first of all, a buyer protection money back guarantee that is offered on eBay, right? This means that if they find that they, they get the product, they don't like it, no, not don't like it. They, 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 let's say they receive damaged or they receive, they don't receive it on time or anything happens, then they can, you know, Go ahead and ship it back to you right or to the seller and they can get their full reimbursement and you then can dispute the same the, the same factor with aliexpress so you can get reimbursed as well that's a different topic for a different video but you need to have that guarantee you need to give that assurance to your people to your client so as long as they provide this you're fine in the free return you'll see a lot of sellers on aliexpress they don't offer free return uh, but it's good to know that they do. So in this case, if let's say your client cancels the order for any reason, you can return it because you're the one buying it actually here when the, you sell it on your store, but you buy it here. So you can return the item with no reasons, no questions asked uh, within 15 days. So if somebody, per if you sell this product right now today and somebody cancels the order tomorrow, you can easily come back to the seller here and you, can, you know what? I don't, I don't want it. I don't need it just ship it back to you. That's fine. So again, it's a different topic for a different video. There's a lot of factors within this uh, process, but again, it's going to give you first you as a seller quality assurance, sorry, assurance and reliability and for your clients as well. Now that we have that out of the way, and I'm sorry if this delayed a little bit too much, 
uh, it's time for you to actually determine what's the price. So you can see here that there's two price. From, so the price range is between $4.71 up to $9. Okay. Okay. So this depends on the variation. As you guys can see here, the variation is key. So you can be, this is what I do normally, right? So you can be strategic about it. So you can see here that out of the 35 sales that were made same 15th of August, the, the person or the people who purchased, purchased the C, this one, this variation. So you want to figure out, or you want to find the same, the same exact variation here. And we have it on this one. So this is the B variation on AliExpress, meaning the C variation on eBay. The same thing as you guys can see on the screen. So now we know that the product's price is $4.71, right? So that's the product's price. And now we want to figure out, okay, the shipping side. So when it comes to shipping, I have a lot of videos on it. I'm going to put an article as well on it so you can read it, but I'm going to be super brief about this right now. Super simple. Just always choose between AliExpress tender shipping or ePacket. Why? Because number one, they're either free uh, or they're super cheap, they're reliable, and they offer tracking numbers. So this is super important when it comes to being a seller on eBay. They want you to upload a valid tracking number and that way you can be on top of the order and your client can be on top of the package, package as well. So this is very important. So always choose AliExpress under shipping and ePacket. They're somewhat fast. They take between two weeks to up to three weeks. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you're not going to be super competitive when it comes to uh, shipping, but trust me, there's a lot of users on eBay willing to wait longer as long as they pay for less, right? So in this case, I'm going to be obviously choosing free shipping with tracking number, AliExpress under shipping, and there you go. Now, let me show you how to use the calculator, right? So over here, we're going to get an estimate of how much is the potential profit that this seller is getting. And that way we can put up on our price based on that. So we have eBay price. The eBay price is going to be the same price provided by the seller on eBay. So we got 23.74. Sorry, let's see. There you go. This cost right here meets the cost of the product on your sourcing website. AliExpress, we have here $4.71 for it. $4.71. Shipping is okay. Is there's a shipping fee? In this case, there isn't. It's free shipping, right? Boom. And number of sales, we have 35. So that gives you a total of $16 with five cents with a profit margin of six, uh, 67.61%, right? And we already give you, we include you the fees. This, these fees are the eBay fees or what's it called? The, the eBay managed payments fees, right? Depending, obviously, this is depending on the break even. So if you put down 14%, then there's a higher fee rate, obviously, and a lower uh, profit per sale. So depending on your break even, then you're going to be having different results. So just and this is something that I want you guys to know. So now uh, you know that you had that this person is getting out of the deal, possibly 16 bucks. That is a huge profit margin just for one simple item. So multiply this times 35 sales. This person has gotten so far $562 in one freaking month, right? Out of one item. Okay. So now you say, you know what? I want to choose this product. I want to sell it. I want to list it on my store. So what is the best price? This is simple guys. Just be cheaper. Doesn't matter how cheap, just be cheaper. So for example, if this person is selling this for 23.74, you know what? You can sell it for 22.99. And you can still get 15 bucks out of the deal, a great profit margin, and you're cheaper. That that means that you're gonna be a little bit more competitive than this seller right here, right? So that is how I go upon when it comes to analyzing a product on eBay, analyzing my supplier on the sourcing website. If you're using Amazon, Home Depot, or any US retailer uh, retail website, just do the same thing. It, just just follow the guidelines they gave you. Be strategic about your sales, and you're golden, right? So this is the part of where I show you how to analyze products. Uh, I can show you all the different products I found, uh, but again, it's gonna take too long. And I know it's the same, it's the same simple process. So, I mean, it's there's no sense. I'm gonna teach you now how to get a product using Sick Analytics. Before I do, uh, let me show you one of the cool um, items that I found. Personally, this is, this is something I would purchase. Uh, so for those of you who like to drink, you can get this awesome beer can cover bottle. It, it, it may seem like, you know, purchasing this on eBay is like 
kind of funny, but still, there's a lot of people buying it. Look, 86 sales so far. Click on this uh, transaction table. Now you have different quantities, different products, different variations, and nobody, there's no special offer here. Like people are actually purchasing the product right here, right? So the last purchase was made on August 28th for this uh, 355 milliliter one piece color, right? You can find the same pro. I found the same product on on AliExpress. Look for 0.01 cent, uh, and I have here different variations offered. In this case, I have this one right here, and the shipping would be 2.11 dollars. And let's just use quickly our calculator. So this being sold for how much? Let's see. Let's see the variation. The three. This one 9.01. Right. So this is 9.01 dollars. And this is being uh, the shipping would be 211, 211, and the cost is going to be 0 0.01. And look at that, and 86, right? 86 sales. Now look at this, boom! Almost 100 bucks worth of profit, uh, and the total profit margin per sales five bucks, almost six bucks, out of one simple item, out of one simple beer can cover. That, that's that's for me astonishing that's great and also th this is something like i said i would purchase because i like to drink so anyway okay so now let me show you how to actually access or how to actually determine which products to choose so now this is sick analytics and the, the link to this one is going to be in the description down below as well so the first thing you want to do here is head over to product research okay now over here, you want to set up a few things. So again, if you're choosing AliExpress as your main sourcing website, uh, on the shipping location, just choose China because again, it's going to the product is going to ship from China all the way to the US. Second, you always want to have a fixed price. So why? Because eBay has been the largest and still is the largest auction website currently. This is a feature that not much drop shippers use, to be honest, is for me, it's not too beneficial. Uh, I don't want to dive into that subject, but almost nobody uses the auction option. So when you choose fixed price, you're saying to, you're telling eBay, Hey, this is not, I don't want any auction or you're telling the, the product research method. You don't want any uh, auction price. You want the actual price. So you're just, you know, you're just actually filtering the options by the actual price, not by auction, if it makes sense, or if you understood my explanation, but anyway. Just fix, just choose down fixed price. That's it. Uh, condition, obviously brand new. You want to sell brand new products. And lastly, sell date range. Always, again, like I said, you want to find products that are being sold between three to four times in the past month, meaning the past 30 days. So again, your sell date range should be placed down as the last 30 days. Lastly, the uh, the feedback rate would be all uh, between 50 to 5,000. Why? Because you want to find other dropshippers. It's going to be so much easier for you to compete against them than a regular seller who holds inventory, especially somebody who has a lot of sales, meaning a high rotation inventory. It's going to be super impossible for you to compete against them because normally there are sellers who not only hold inventory, but also provide a super fast shipping. So they can be a little bit, let's say a little bit more expensive than you are, but they give out so much benefits to the buyer that it's going to be super possible for you to stand out out of the bunch. So you want to find another dropshipper who is doing the same thing, sourcing from China in this case. And from that point, you can see, okay, so this person is making X amount of sales. I can beat him or beat her if I, you know, sell the same product, change up the title, work on the product listings, work on the photos, and be, uh, be cheaper. That way, I can get a little bit more traction, if it makes sense. So when you see a seller that has over 50,000 feedbacks, that normally would be a seller that is a regular standard normal seller, not a drop shipper. So just choose between 50 as a minimum, could be less, but it doesn't matter, just between 50 to 5,000 um, feedback rate, okay? And now choose your eBay, then you wanna find products on eBay, and then just choose the keywords. Now in this case, what I do is, I try to figure out which are the best products being sold on eBay, on AliExpress, because normally the best products or other the best category on AliExpress is most likely being drop shipped on eBay. So on here, I always give you, give you guys a tip to choose very good, let's say demand category. So for example, home improvement and tools is a great category because people 
around the globe, especially the US, are always, always consistently looking to improve their homes, right? So this is a, a, a category where a lot of items are being sold year round. So I always choose home improvement tools. And here you have subcategories like ceiling lights, like, you know, like indoor lights, sorry, like LED lighting, like tools, whatever. You can choose whatever subcategory you want out of this category. You know what? I'll choose just, now oh, let's choose garden tools. Doesn't matter, right? When you're here, uh, you have the sorting by filter, right? So you, I always choose to sort by orders, meaning the product with the highest amount of orders to the least amount of orders. So normally the product with the high, the highest amount of orders is normally being drop shipped to eBay again. So under that premise, I want to stick upon, right? So I click on this, pro, uh, this product right here and it leads me to the products page, right? So once I'm here, all you need to do is grab a couple keywords from the title and paste it right here. I always choose from three to four keywords and it has to make sense. So for example, I can use the full vegetable thumb knife separator because again, it makes sense. And it's, it's going to actually give me on, this, on the results products that are either the same one or similar. So go to Sick Analytics, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and just hit the search button. Now over here is a lot of things, a lot of data you can actually, oh, look at this, it's not too, okay. But let's let's just stick to this. Oh, you know what? Let's let's choose a different one because this is like so through rate. This this item apparently sucks, right? This a lot. Oh, and by the way, this is something that I'm not going to go in depth upon. But if you see this small uh, image right here, this means that this product is under Vero, meaning ver verified right owners, that you can't sell it because you don't have the rights to. So you can get a uh, claim check on eBay if you sell this product. So again. Let's use a different, let's use a different product under the same category. This is all I might doing here is all this is to being live, not actually live. This is recorded, but I'm going as I go. There's no script upon this thing. I just want to be completely authentic. And I want you guys to see that when it comes to being a drop shipper, you need to take some time. It could, it could be faster. It could be slow. Anyway, I'll stop talking and just go ahead and choose. You know what? Let's choose, uh, night lights okay now the same thing sort by orders and let's choose this one and i will be choosing the keywords motion sensor toilet seat there you go you can choose whichever you want but for me it makes more sense motion sensor toilet seat so again let's take just go to the same thing china 50 to maximum feedback 5,000 and just paste it and there you go let's see this one so the cool thing about this the sig analytics tool is that they actually give you the sell through rate meaning how much sales percentage are is this specific keyword making on ebay so for example 95 percent of sell through rate as you guys can see which is a me measurement of how fast this product or this item is selling on ebay it gives you a better notion when it comes to the product it's up to the market itself. So you see that 95% is not that bad. Uh, if you see over a hundred or 150 or even 500, that means that that's a super demanded product, but 95% uh, is fine. Now keep in mind that I'm not using this to actually sell this motion sensor. I'm just using this to find a drop shipper, right? And I'll show you right now that is selling maybe the same thing, but I want to figure out what other good products I can find under that specific store, which is called sniping technique is finding other sellers who are doing the same thing, right? And, and figuring out what are the best selling products they offer. So you can choose one of those products, source them and sell it yourself. So you, one, you, one might call it stealing. I just call it, I don't know, just being more strategic and just doing it for a better way. Anyway, I'm going off topic. So I see and you can, you can, again, I don't want, I'm not going to dive into all these topics right here. Just a lot of things that you need to analyze, but you don't need to, if you're just sourcing products, I mean, it's not that necessary. So what I do is I go scroll down and you can see here that there's a hundred entries, meaning a hundred sellers, different sellers. And what I do normally is I avoid people from China because, or, or Asia for that matter, like this one right here, Hong Kong, China, Sri Lanka. The reason behind that is because 
there's a lot of regular sellers from China. So yeah, I want to actually dive down and narrow down my search and filter my search to drop shippers specifically. I explained that before. So I choose other countries in Europe, like for example, Ukraine, Israel, Morocco, Greece, those countries are good. So what I do is let's say this one, which is from the Ukraine, I put here this option, which is uh, scan seller. And you'll be able to actually analyze the seller, how much the sell through rate, active listings, whatever. That's for me, that's not really important. What is really important is to figure out what products are actually being successfully, you know, listed and, 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 and sold. So what I do is I want to figure out, first of all, the minimum of sales, like I mentioned before, you want to have at least three sales made in the past 30 days. And the other filter I choose is a current price. So the minimum current price I choose is $8 because first of all, you want to sell for a lower price, right? So if this person is selling for, let's say $5 and you want to be competitive, any, any item, any given item, you want to sell it for a lower price than that, but you can't sell it too low because you need to consider the amount of the amount, the cost of the product on your sourcing website, the shipping fee, if there's any, and the eBay manage, manage payments fee they need to cover. So you obviously, if you sell it for too cheap, you won't be able to cover those fees and much less make profit out of it. So $8 is like the bare minimum that you could go. So I filter that out and well, this seller's no good. Uh, first of all, it has a barrel restriction here, so it's no good. But anyway, you get the point. Uh, let's try to figure out if we can find another one. If not, I'll just go with the flow. If it's somebody that's no good for me, it doesn't matter. Again, this takes some time. Sometimes it's super quick, sometimes it's not. But I just, I just want you to see the process, to be honest. So let's choose. Okay, look at this one from Israel. Oh, from Israel, scan seller. And just no sales. Oh, come on. All right, let's see this one here. Thumbs up, please, for the effort for the video. If you like it so far, if, it, if you've learned something so far, just please like the video and comment and also subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, filter that out. And, all right, so we have this. Actually, this is something I recently sniped. Okay, so we have this product here. We have here information, the upload date, right? This was back in May 10th. Uh, we have here the uh, sales made, three sales made so far. Okay, there you go, sorry. Three sales made so far, five sales made so far in the past month. Total total sales six, and it's been sold for twenty three bucks. So click on it, and you're gonna be directed to the page on on eBay. So we have the product right here, and you can have you have different lenses, you have different colors, whatever. Okay, so now we know that this person is in fact a drop shipper. It has less than five thousand feedbacks, right? One hundred thirty four feedbacks has is selling this for 23.99 uh, and now it's time to source the same product to aliexpress so i'm going to put down description down below this awesome tool called ali tools which i recently made a new article you can check it check it up on the on our blog page is you can install it is for free and one of the best best features this tool offers is the following you can analyze just by simply Analyze any image just by simply going over the image and you can see here on the top left side There's a small magnifying glass click on it. It's going to say find on Aliexpress you Just click on that is going to go ahead and upload the image Analyze it and give you the same you see give you the same exact product the same option Sold or offered by other sellers on Aliexpress by different sellers Under a under different type of uh, prices. So you want to figure out number one Remember, I told you find a product that is has more than ten orders made. This one has three thousand orders, almost four thousand orders made, so a lot of reliability there. And this is being sold for nine dollars. You obviously want to choose the cheapest price as possible. So click on this one. You're gonna be directed to the products page on AliExpress. And at that point, just give me a second. All right. So there you go. You there you have it. Boom. Now it's time for you to actually determine. The pro, if you want to, if, if you, what variation you want to sell, if you, if you want to sell the whole variations offered, that's fine. But if you don't want to narrow it down, you want to figure out which one you can actually sell. So choose the cheapest option. In this case, let's go ahead and choose this one right here. Chips from China in length, 19 centimeters, 10 bucks. Okay. 
We have the same one, 19 centimeters, and this one is the what? The mixed gold. Let's see the mixed gold. 33 bucks. Look, 33 dollars and 99 cents. This is this is the price on eBay by this seller, and you found it for 10 bucks. Now let's go ahead and okay. So we have five dollars and 18 cents via AliExpress under shipping, and just go ahead and use the calculator. And if you want, you can do it right now. So let me go ahead and do it. Uh, so we have here this being sold for. $33.99, right? The cost is for 10 bucks and the shipping is for 518. Sold six, sorry, 518. Six times sales. And you have a total profit of 14 bucks and 54 cents. So you can sell this for as cheap as you want. You can sell it for 30 bucks if you want. Round numbers, you can still get $11 out of the deal with a $66 uh, total profit margin or potential profit margin, you see? So this is what I do, sorry. So this is what I do when it comes to looking for products. There's a lot of things, right? A lot of processes, a lot of things you need to analyze, but for now, this is a simple tactic you can choose when it comes to drop shipping. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you liked it. I hope you stuck down, you stuck down to hold this, I don't know, like 33, almost 40, minute length video appreciate you i apologize if i wasn't clear enough on some things if you if you were clear if it, if it was clear hit the like button if you weren't leave a comment down below just let me know doesn't matter if it's hateful or not just don't let it let it not be hateful please and yeah and see you on the next video next week